I'm hip hop even when I'm going to the grocery, grocery store. store yeah. It's just my vibe. Yeah. You it's know what I'm saying? Walk, it's how, it's how I to... walk. It's how I'm yeah. talking. Yeah. It's like how I'm like picking out the things yeah. I'm about to get on the grocery list. Yeah. It's the whole thing. Yeah. You know, so when people like, it's, that's the difference between liking some shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And living and, it. Yeah, and living it. Yeah. That's why hip hop is like, no, you. it's not really that what yeah. people think on the outside. It's right. like, yo, we're living it. Shit is crazy. Yeah, do you uh partake in Black Friday? Yeah. I mean I know some people are just kinda like, nah. It's not that I guess it's like oh, it's not that I don't partake. Yeah. But if there's something pertaining to me, then maybe. Yeah. Like something yeah. sticks out. Yeah. Like there's some stuff I'm interested in. Uh huh. Like I'll just be like, oh yeah, that that's a cool record or whatever. Or you know what I'm saying? Are they giving deals on socks at yeah. you know, wherever the fuck? You know, it yeah. benefits me. Then yeah yeah, 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 you might you might as well just in, indulge. You know, right? Yeah, I yeah I just I don't even know what the origins of Black Friday. You know what the origins are? Or no? Nah, I mean, you know I want to say if I'm being on some conspiracy yeah, theories. Yeah. Are thing, you going straight out the name? Like well I'm well not the, not even off the name yeah. but. Just more off like the idea to get people to spend to mad spend dough, yeah. Cause you know, for no reason. Yeah. I don't really even know like how that. Yeah. Why does that? How does that benefit anyone? Yeah. I mean, maybe because you except for like the you know right the the big business. It's almost know? like everybody's like, yo, we got hella shit that didn't sell during the year, right. so we about to get rid of all this shit as right. much as we can by yeah. lowering the prices. Yeah. They just fuck it. Yeah. They're just. Cleaning out their inventory. Right, because we know you're going to go shop. Even though people try to act like they're doing it for the Christmas. Yeah, yeah. they still going to buy some other shit they for gonna, people for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're, they're still going to, uh, deal or no deal, they're still going to be out there spending money. Right, so it's kind of like a little nice little double up. Yeah, yeah. It, it, like an incentive to like get people to their store specifically, I guess. Right. Yeah, because at the end of the day, even though like they're not... Like, if you think about it, them marking down their prices isn't helping them out at all. You know what I mean? Right, right. They're just getting stuff out the door quick, and, you know, at the end of the day, they, they lower their profit. Right. So, but yeah, it's, I just never knew what the origins are, but I know some people feel strongly about it or whatever. I mean, I'm just spending, like, I just, like, it, like right. it's like you, like, you find... If it benefits me, I'm just gonna. Yeah, if you go got ahead something you was gonna buy that yeah. day anyway, where yeah. you could get it for less yeah, that like day, fuck it. Percent off, like I'm with it, you know. The thing is, I miss the savages, though. No, like, uh, like the camp. Like, like I don't be going like that, <laughs> but I miss hearing on the news the next day. Yeah. Niggas was fighting, <laughs> and you know somebody got hit Lost with a with a, with a fucking yeah. twelve inch TV over yeah. the head, and like you like, know, it's just pandemonium. Like, there's no more of that. Like, I think because the last few ones, uh -huh. like, were too crazy. Because yeah. people be, you know, sleeping outside. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's no more. There's I, I never understood that concept of camp. Like, how you going to camp out in front of a, a store? Like, how does that work? Yo, niggas really be doing that shit. Well, like, okay, Black Friday thing, I, I think you could buy online now. Yeah. So they don't oh, really yeah. have the stories of people like yeah they got the Cyber Mondays too right know? nobody's like trampling over each other no more dying to yeah, fucking yeah. get a fucking toaster or some shit yeah but uh people still wait in line like there's always you know there's spots like Supreme and yeah you yeah. know that's Stussy a, trying to get Stussy shit at Union yeah, and all yeah. that kind of like yeah that's, those are the type of stores like if they're doing any kind of sale like it helps you out you know what I mean like. Those like, store, it's crazy, but I mean, like, not even for sales. Like, they just got some exclusive product oh, that yeah, niggas yeah. will line up. Like the next, like they're they're dropping something new. Right. Like yeah. I would, you know, it'd be interesting to see like the things you could get people to line up for. Yeah. And people are always curious about a line. 
Yeah, you know what that's saying? true. It's true. Like you see a, a line wrapped around the building, you definitely gonna like if you're in the car, you're gonna slow down a little bit and be like, "What's what's this about?" You know? Like, it just made me think like if you just paid a bunch of people. Yeah. Like maybe like not a lot and not for a long period of time. Let's say like thirty minutes, right? Yeah. They gotta show up at this time. Yeah. You give everybody like ten bucks. Yeah. And we just stand in line in front of some place. Yeah. For people, like thirty minutes. People are gonna be like, what's, what's this? Yeah, people are gonna say, What <laughs> the know, fuck is going right, on right. over here? But even people like walking by, like, what you guys in, in the line for? It? Right. And then just after that thirty minutes, just disperse. This is very true. And like, you know, just do that in pockets everywhere around us. People, you know, like yeah. people love a line. What y'all waiting for? Yeah. Like, and then be like, yeah. I can't tell you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what y'all yeah, waiting in line for? We can't yeah. talk about nah, it. Nah, it's, it's discreet. You can you can hop in though. Right. It's, so you can get in line. I want to see how many people would, would actually be like, all right, let me let me. I ain't got I got time to. to Man, wait. that shit would work. I think. Yeah. Now I'm with you. I think we you should definitely start something like that, or, and just. No, nah, I think it'll work, and it's like. If you want to take it a step further, mm -hmm. you rent out a spot for yeah. wherever the people are waiting in line for. Yeah. And then when you go in, it's something that's so stupid to wait in <laughs> line for. The stupidest thing ever. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Why do you think, like, what, what captivate? I feel like it's the same, along the same vein of like, like the reason why people rubberneck on the road. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, the reason why people, like, gawk at, at, at things that have nothing to do with, right. with them. You know, see, you know what? I got a good rubberneck story like that. Like, yeah. Okay, one time I was driving, I was going down Marrow's, uh -huh. going to like towards Western, uh -huh. and there used to be this liquor store. I think it's like they turned into something else, but mm -hmm. it was on the corner that way. Yeah. So I'm like driving, and I look to my left, and I I see like something going on in the corner yeah. and I turn back backwards again and look back. I'm like, damn, nigga, is that ludicrous? <laughs> and then I hit this car, right? Oh, and it was yeah. like, it wasn't that bad because, you know, we were coming to yeah, like a, a light. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? But, you know, of course, like, you know. It's the little fender bender. You know, yeah, yeah. it wasn't, nothing was bent at all. Really? It, was it was like really not that bad. Maybe little, the impact felt better than yeah, it was. Yeah, a little love tap. Yeah, but so like when we pulled into, there was a gas station right there. Yeah. We pulled in there, and of course, you know, it was like an older Hispanic dude. Yeah. He went, he went into this acting. I was like, he was auditioning uh, for the movie he, to this was, accident. Was, yeah, I was rolling. I was like, bro, come, come on, just stop, <laughs> stop, man. You know what's going on? Don't man. try to yeah, your, your pain, <laughs> your pain in your neck, chill. Yeah. So, anyways, the video it was ludicrous, really, and it was the video for um. What's that one? Uh, Not stand up. No, it was uh, where they have the fucking uh, Isaac Hayes sample. Uh, the fucking uh, nah, 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 walk on by. Uh, they got that sample in there, and it's like, and Ludacris is rapping like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most creative original. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like because they can get with it. Yeah, yeah, it was like it wasn't from. Uh, I think that was chicken and chicken beer. And beer. Yeah. Why chicken and beer? So when I seen that video, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> that <laughs> was fucking was ludicrous. Yeah. You know, so in a rubberneck situation, it's like, that that turned out to be something cool. You yeah. know what I mean? But <laughs> like, I wouldn't, after that, I never did that again. No, nah, you can't. Like, now on the street, like, if I, if I see an accident on the side, I'm like, no, nah, we gotta keep it pushing. Because I've been right. in the same situation. Well, not the same situation, but. The only time I've been in a car accident was when I was like eating <laughs> at the same time. And it was kind of similar because I was like looking down, getting a burrito um, and putting some salsa on it. Right. And then like I saw the light coming up. I was like, all right, I got time. <laughs> yeah. and I put the salsa, right. right? Yeah. Next thing you know, I'm looking up and I'm coming like, I'd say probably like 15 miles. And the person in front of me was completely stopped, so I slammed on the brakes, but it was too late, man. Damn. Was like, Did you spill sauce, too? Nah, it was, it was bad, man. It, like, <laughs> it was, like, red, so, you. like, it looked bad. Like, it looked like blood. Right, right, right. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, but nobody got hurt, so it was all good. 
so you had to hop you had it spilled sauce on your so and you had to hop out and be like yeah like <laughs> and they look at you like oh you got sauce on you yeah like, like they thought something bad happened right and it was like um nah i'm just i'm just clumsy as fuck right you right know, like but it was cool the lady was cool luckily she, she had um it was like, and the thing is, like, you, it was a, on the back of the car, it had a sticker of, like, baby on board. I'm oh. like, oh, no. And luckily, like, the, the baby wasn't in, but it was, like, some mom or whatever right. that hopped out. Right. And she was, she was like, real cool and all that. <laughs> the baby, like, started fake acting like it's Yeah, her. imagine that. That'd like, the hilarious. baby just about their wits that that soon yeah baby like ah yeah. damn didn't you see the baby on board sticker i'm a yeah. baby you're like oh this baby's crazy yeah yeah but that would that be an interesting like um like psychological experiment you know what i mean like getting people to like line up outside of something and see how many people like join yeah, I'm just like no. interested in like those little. You know, I think little people would. Like, it's like, yo, yeah. this is artist in there. He never comes out. Yeah, it's like he's a crazy artist. He just draws happy faces on yeah. boiled eggs or some shit. Yeah, yeah. And you, you go in there, you're like, what? Like it's, you just go in there and they see that. That's yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. But I bet you there's gonna be people like if you keep people out of the like like outside of the the joke or the, the whole thing right like, no long yeah. enough they're gonna find a meaning to it you right know what i mean they're gonna oh, be yeah. like oh yeah it was so profound that the person had that kind of paint on their face you know right I mean? right right you know it's, it's crazy but um it's so you don't have your mask on dog what you mean you know the mask that you usually uh oh you talking about the um uh, ceremonial headdress. Yes, is that what you call it? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. Uh huh. So, is there a reason? A reason what? You, you don't have it on. Is there a reason I don't have it on? Yeah. I mean, it's I'm not on stage. Got you know what I'm saying? Like, got it, you. It's so, not the ceremony time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's so like that, a specific kind of like vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So you. You definitely, it's a so you see it as like more of a ceremony when you're on stage and stuff. So you're oh yeah you're, because um hmm it's like there's certain things that I need to get out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Vibe wise and energy connection wise yeah. with the atmosphere. Yeah. And like a universal connection thing mm -hmm. that happens. Yeah. And so it, it, you're, and so you put on. So what? What other cultures do that? Like I know they're, they're in ceremonies. Well, obviously like Africa. Yeah. You know, obviously. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Obviously, even Native Americans and certain. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like they have like a fucking. Um, they like got the full feather. A head yeah. on top of their head. That's true. Like a fucking uh, a boar or a warthog or some yeah, shit. Yeah. Cut out the whole thing. How that shit brought down to your like eyebrows like a little fitted hat. Yeah, like you know, and they got you know what I'm saying? They almost, they almost become that, that same thing that's on their head. Yeah, because it's like there's a there's a certain thing they're speaking to with right. what they're doing yeah it's you know what i'm saying energy it's, you're tapping into there you know what i mean yeah it's kind of like um it's just like some kind of like spiritual connection you right. still, you like feeling me from uh, some kind of other like realm right because of how you how you know me now yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah so like people can definitely connect with you a different way when you're in ceremony so, so to speak right and then completely different when you're just um, me you know I mean I guess it's yeah it's definitely different um because maybe it's like yeah I'm more like chilling you know what I'm saying yeah, like yeah you're chilling you know dude. like yeah I'm, I'm chilling right yeah, now you yeah, know what I'm saying but yeah. like um, when it's time to do that, 
there's a lot of even you know dark mm, okay. dark kind of like perspective yeah yeah you I know mean, obviously I'm definitely, I'm obviously definitely, like yeah. when you're like you know talking to somebody and they they know how you are already yeah and you say certain stuff they know it's not really like okay this nigga's they're serious about yeah, yeah. this dark thing that you just said. But they get your you're, sense of humor. Already, yeah, right? the, but you're already alluding to something, right? Yeah. You know, so like, but see, in in that f- forum no. or arena, whatever you want to yeah. call it, um, you have a certain connection right. to get with the crowd. Some niggas right. go up, they just perform like, yo, this is rap and it's music yeah, and yeah. it's like my tracks and me and buy my shit and whatever the fuck you know but um then it's like what are you trying to get out of this experience yeah every time you you'll see me perform maybe i'll do some songs you know Mm -hmm. maybe i won't yeah maybe i won't do no songs Mm -hmm. maybe i might just talk a bunch of shit yeah yeah. you know and play beats yeah or maybe i'll just play beats and say things periodically yeah throughout You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or maybe I'll do a straight set of just bah, 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 yeah. raps, 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 yeah. raps, 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 yeah. and then get off the stage yeah. and not and not say shit. Maybe I'll take a break in between these songs and tell y'all a little bit something about what I'm thinking about the the topics of right now uh-huh. that are all affecting us. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so is that like premeditated or you, you, this is like usually it comes at at the moment it arrives, you know. What right, I mean? right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's like I don't know how people are gonna react mm-hmm. and how I'm gonna feel when I'm performing, but obviously there's some things like okay, I know I could do this joint, mm-hmm. or I could I could spit yeah, yeah. to this joint, yeah, or yeah. like you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, some performances maybe I got um, a homie like doing something opening up for like 10 minutes in front of me like my right. boy Trent Troops like right. I'm gonna do a set probably next week right yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have him open up do 10 minutes like mm-hmm. I did um, some production on his record yeah, yeah, so we'll do like that. three joints that's like ah, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. Get, get people like, in the mood right like, like you know yeah, what I'm saying get you into our bit. realm yeah. of like this is not this shit is not really like um strange or new right to niggas that know us you know what right, i'm saying like right, right. this is like how are we gonna get you in there this is how this is how you guys get down on the right right you know yeah. what i'm saying off the top like it's gonna be some shit off the top that always goes down yeah and always in that fashion because you know you know it's like a, i'm like an installation yeah when I perform, I feel like a installation. Like, like I an be, art installation. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. done art shows. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it's interesting. A lot of people have invited me to perform at their art shows. Yeah, so I perform at shows that's just art around, yeah. and then I'm the performance right. for that for right. ten minutes or twenty, whatever it may yeah, be. Yeah, because you're giving off a certain vibe where it's just like, you know, it's not uh, orthodox at all. It's is is very um, it. It's intriguing. It's almost like it's like the same thing where we were talking about, like when people were like see a line outside a building or something. Right, right, it's right. The right. same thing. People are gonna be like, oh, "What's right, this going right, on? right?" Yeah. It's crazy because you know, like you set the tone. Like, right. When I first was rocking shows, it would be I would bring my turntable, mm-hmm. I bring a mixer, I bring some records. I bring my MPC. Mm-hmm. Um, I bring like a cloth to go over the table. Yeah. I bring shit from my room. Uh-huh. Like one thing was the head, the wolf head. Yeah, yeah. You know, one thing was like this Operation Brain Damage game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like Operation, but instead of the dude laying down, it's a head yeah. that you can put your hand into. Oh man. And I'll have that lighting up, and I yeah. have some lights. So and, you said the ambiance. Right. I mean, I would like, this is, I would do this, I did this for the majority of the time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Unless a place is like, yo, it's all good, we got a turntable. Yeah. Cool. Now I only need to bring the records. Yeah. You yeah. know, and the MPC. Yeah. You know? Then it's like, all right, you know, I don't really need to bring records for this show. Now I just bring the MPC. Yeah. Like, okay, now 
now I just bring only records or you yeah. know what I'm saying like yeah. I, I, and then I always bring stuff to set my tone put on the table yeah. like so it's like yo this is this is how I be at my crib yeah. you know what I'm saying like have you always felt it was important to like set that set the mood like that like just from I don't know when you started performing right but like has it always been the case or did you find that you needed to do that along the way you know well see one thing is like I've always been a person who um, gives a certain vibe on the microphone mm -hmm. cause you know I, I tell jokes yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, you're kind of doing a, a, a set, you know, right? Like a, you know what I'm saying? Like when I when, when I was 16, yeah, after school, I was going to the Laugh Factory to perform at night. Really, that's crazy. Like for adults, like yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's crazy. doing my homework yeah. over there and then emceeing, hosting the night. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's crazy. So you had this comfort. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? So it's already with the mic. I'm like, yo, this is. We making a, I'm making a certain connection, so maybe that's a that's one thing yeah. that I have towards my artistry performing. Yeah, that you know is just already a part of me. Yeah, it's so, just, it's so it's so funny because like recently, like I just been finding a lot of connections with like stand ups uh -huh. and and specifically rappers. We always been connected. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. the reason the two things that connect us yeah. is having a point of view right, right right and delivering it in such a way yeah. that people are entertained by it yep and yep. actually understand what you were trying to get across yeah, you're hitting it right on the head you know what i mean yeah that's yeah. why there's all and if you look that's why like hip-hop and comedy yeah. are joined together yeah because like it, at the end of the day they're both orations you know what i mean right like, they're right. both you're 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 standing on the podium giving your spiel on what what's going on whether it's in your life or your environment you know right what I'm but like like look check look at um fucking friday for example yeah like the reason why ice cube did friday yeah. and wrote that movie with dj Pooh is because he said man i want to show the funny side of the hood yeah yeah it's not just boys in the hood yeah we have days where funny shit just happens yeah, yeah. where we still getting into something yeah but it's it's this point of view that is is funny, man. And, and that, it, yeah, and, and that's it's comedy. videos yeah. and like and like look at Slick Rick. Yeah, like Slick Rick is fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's an exaggeration. He tells <laughs> jokes. He tells jokes on the mic about yeah. like situations and, and gives you a, a picture of and, how it could be in story form. Some of the best right. comedians are good storytellers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's, it, there's like a connection, like you said. It's, it's definitely a connection it's always been connected yeah. i feel like more today yeah. because of how times have changed yeah. technology and shit yeah your people are starting to be like damn yeah like seeing that together they get it now yeah, that's yeah. like it's like it's joined in yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying like you could see a rapper that might take himself serious uh-huh like making a joke like yeah. the Migos will be in a skit yeah. at McDonald's you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. they will do that why not like yeah. we we laugh at shit too what, what, we're not we're not funny yeah like just, hip, just stuck in the whole time. hip hop niggas yeah. are the funniest yeah exactly. you know what I'm saying cause they have they have an arsenal of slang <sighs> and culture <sighs> that's a part of them too yeah you know what I'm saying like, I think that's why people like that's top reason why I, I I, I fuck with Cameron so much because this dude was telling jokes the whole time. Cameron is fucking hilarious. He, he's hilarious, man. And it and it's 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 crazy because it, it's like, you know, hip hop is a culture. It's not just like a genre of music. It's a, it, it's a culture. Yeah. It's, Some people don't understand that though. Yeah. Like yeah. let me tell you, it's like, okay, that is my culture. When people right. like. Like sometimes, okay, sometimes in the record store, people will come in the record store and say, you know, ask me what kind of music I like. Somebody right. might ask me that. Yeah. And I'll say, I like all kind of shit. Yeah. And then they kind of like, it might be a white person, mm -hmm. you know, because they like, 
will almost try to like lean me towards the direction of like nigga I know you like hip hop <laughs> right yeah, yeah, yeah. so you know I'll be like well I like all all, all kind of music yeah, and they'll be like well what do you listen to most and then that's when I was like ah yes that's perfect yeah. you, I just you just set the trap for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, the thing is, my culture is hip hop. Uh-huh. So everything I listen to becomes hip hop. Right. I was mm-hmm. like, so, yeah. and I was yeah. like, and since hip hop is every culture, yeah. and the way we use it is yep. using it's things true. from it's all true. kind it's of true. worlds. Yep. So I actually answered your question when I said I listen to everything. Right. I was right. like, because there's a nigga who's making like ill fucking track out of some Brazilian shit exactly. I never heard of exactly. then I'm like fucking I'm like yo what the fuck was that yeah. it's like yo he sampled this yeah. now, now I'm I listening got, to this older listen, music man. I never heard you know what I'm saying yeah listen man you, you preaching right now dog because it's like that's why I mean especially with you know the sample core of hip hop where it's just like you you bringing in jazz sounds you just bringing right. in like sounds from from the 70s and stuff it's a melting pot of everything that was before right right before it and so it's like in a way it's like uh hip-hop is like the child of 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 the, the past right you know right I mean? and the thing and the thing is since it is a culture yeah it's like it's not just like yo i'm listening to music where niggas rap yeah it's like yo i'm working at the fucking record store yeah i'm i'm at the record store oh nigga i'm about to go burn some trees with the homie and listen to some beats yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. oh i'm about to uh go to the let's pick a thing that's not even a hip-hop thing right i'm about to go to the grocery store mm-hmm. right i'm hip-hop even when i'm going to the grocery, grocery store, store yeah. it's just my vibe yeah you it's know what i'm saying walk. it's how, it's how i walk it's how yeah. i'm talking yeah. it's like how i'm like picking out the things yeah. i'm about to get on the grocery list yeah it's the whole thing yeah you know so when people like it's, that's the difference between liking some shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And living and, it. Yeah, and living it. Yeah. That's why hip hop is like, no, you. it's not really that what yeah. people think on the outside. It's right. like, yo, we're living it. That's that's why, you know, I mean, just, I haven't read the article. I'm guilty of just like clickbait. But like, uh-huh. like that whole Post Malone thing, I don't know what he said. You know, but the headlines. Oh, you don't, even, you don't even need to read the whole it, Is it exactly how, how it was on the headlines? Where it was just like... Let's say it's not even directly what he said. Yeah. They can't misconstrue his message too much. Yeah. yeah. His main message... Let's say if he was saying... No, nah, I wasn't saying hip-hop don't got no dope shit. Yeah. I was just saying... Nah, like, nah. We, yeah. I, want, I want people to listen to different types of music. Yeah. Well, you know what, nigga? Nah. If, your, if your message get misconstrued like that... I'm like, then nigga, you should learn how to fucking talk. Yeah. You should take the time to think about what you're saying. Right, right. Just because you popping, you just throwing shit out there. Yeah. And nigga, you, niggas are inviting you into hip hop, nigga. Right, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we're, you getting paid because of the culture. Exactly, nigga. exactly. Nigga, so to say that in any kind of misconstrued way that the yeah. media took it, right. it's like, nigga, chill. Bro. Yeah, we let you in. Like, you, you can't be you can't be talking out the side of your mouth like that and, and it's not, just funny though you know what I mean like, like it's like, like nigga we, we don't care about your opinion no, at all nah, nigga like get out of listen here. to some Bob Dylan I'm yeah. like yo nigga nigga hip hop been on Bob Dylan exactly nigga exactly. we been on all the stuff you think you you think yeah. you enlightening somebody yeah like Kaz knew about Bob Bob Dylan's pen this is back then you know that's like, what I'm saying and it's yeah. like so the thing basically he was saying was you know I only listen to shitty music and when I'm listening to hip hop I'm not I'm not listening to any hip hop that I learned anything from cause I obviously don't know it yeah. so yeah. I'm listening to Bob Dylan cause at the end of the day man shit you can go back to being white yeah. At the end of the day. Exactly. You could be like, you know yeah. what? You could ten years from now you could be like, you know what? That was just you know, a phase. I, yeah, I was just a phase and yeah. I need to like, you know, get my life together and yeah. stop being uh, all niggerish and you yeah, know. Yeah. He could do that. Yeah. But niggas who like live and grew up that way, like nigga nigga, I grew up in the culture, nigga. Yeah, exactly. Nigga, like, nigga, my mom was life. chilling with Grandmaster yeah. Cat. Exactly. Like when I think about that, that shit is wild because I didn't know who he was yeah. as a, a <laughs> um, as a leader and yeah. pioneer the culture till I was like a teenager 
So then I was tripping like, damn, yeah. I wish when I was little, you know I, 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 yeah, yeah, so I could really get yeah, more. Yeah, you know, yeah. I could really be more like, yo, yada yada, you, you know, the fuck like, yeah, right. Like you were just like you were, you were in the midst of. Uh, see, like, see, like, I was like thinking about you on the way here, right? And I'm like, just from like your your catalog, your content, right? And just seeing your presence on on social media, you remind me of like. Uh, like a living encyclopedia, you know what I mean? Wow, like, that's a that's a compliment, bro. Yeah, because no, I don't no. even. To be honest, I don't think I know shit. Like, I mean, like yeah. you know, I know what I know, right? Yeah. And I try to learn more. But what the if you if that comes off, yeah, it's because of I always grew up with older niggas. Yeah, that's what I'm that thinking. always put me up on game. It's very proud. that like put yeah. me on to shit. So then I could do my own digging on things. Yeah, and all, all my and all the homies. Yeah. Always drop gems on me. Yeah, yeah. And they they know that I appreciate gems. Yeah. So that's why they don't they don't like um they're not reluctant to drop them. Right. You know yeah, what I mean? Like you, you it's gold to you. Like and it and it just comes off that way. Like you know like you know, when someone tells you when you tell somebody about like some some gold or something, like and they and it's met with like um just like some nonchalantness right then right you're right. not gonna tell them anymore but like right. but like with you it sounds like it was like you were just very appreciative of, of just being just dropped right like right knowledge right. the crate so you know so like when somebody says something like i could post my mom yeah. says that it's it's offensive it's super because offensive. it's like, like somebody like yeah. you know how you could be like Yo, I could talk about my mama, but you don't talk about nah, my mama. Nah, exactly. That's what exactly. it's like. Yeah, it's exactly. like, yo, nigga, we yeah. could say, yo, hip hop is getting on my nerves. Yeah. Because, nigga, we live in the culture. Right, yeah. But, nigga, you Unless can't you insult like, hip hop, nigga. Yeah, like, and the thing that what, what kills me the most is these, these dudes is making bread off of it. And they're not even of the culture. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it, it, it hurts my feelings <laughs> at the end of the day. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if I fucking, like, just went into, like, being a fake country nigga or some right. shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I start wearing cowboy hats yeah. and like, you know, stereotyping yeah. country music or something. Yeah. And like really like just being dead serious right. though. Right. You know what I mean? Like and then like when I and made a bunch of money. Yeah. And then like once I get there I'll be like, nah, actually I'm a hip hop yeah, nigga, man. Yeah, like, I just did that country shit. That shit was just a phase, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying I'm, to gain an audience. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Now I got all the little country singers buying my other shit yeah. when I go over here. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like that'd be crazy. Yeah, people That should be a movie. Not, yeah. <laughs> people would not take lightly to it. You know what I mean? Right. Like, It'd be pretty fun. You know what though? Low key, they won't. You might not even be able to do that. Why is that? You know, like, like uh, unless you got like some guitar skill or some oh, type yeah, of yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think you might not even be able to get in. You might not. A nigga might not be be able to blow up in country music. In country music. What nigga is? What's the hot black fucking? I know you music talk. artist like yeah. in country like. Yeah, there is there is a hot. dude out there because I think he was on some show or something. I, I forget. Like Hootie don't count. Hootie from the <laughs> Blowfish do not yeah, count. Yeah. I don't. It's just it's it's a, such a secluded, uh, I guess, music. You know, genre. I mean, it's like, is it though? Like, I don't know. Like, yeah. but maybe it's just a nigga never trying to dominate it like that. They I mean, I have never, no interest in 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 being a, a country star. Right. You know I mean? Right. <laughs> But but you know what the thing is is with country music though what what I do tip my hat off to him is um, I'm just a, a fan of storytelling. Oh yeah. man, no no no, we're not gonna diss we're country. Not gonna diss country. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna we're not say going like, down that line. Nah, it's like check it out. Like okay, like obviously we don't fuck with country. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If we're keeping it all the way 100. Well, like, what is it? Niggas so? like, don't really why, be, why don't we? Why don't we fuck with country? Like, no, nah, like, see the thing is like niggas don't really be like, yo, I'm about to like you gonna have a playlist. We are gonna drive to Vegas, listen to all country, <laughs> and be like, yo, what's the new but, country? Yo, yeah, that's hot. Yo, that was a hot country. Yo, no, yeah. nobody's doing that. No, but yeah. in general, like, there's some shit that is dope. Though. Like you're like, 
you know, of course, all niggas like Johnny Cash because he's hard. Yeah, yeah he's, he's talking about some like, hard shit. He's wearing all black. It's yeah. country music, but he's like, yo, I shot this motherfucker. Yeah, he was and very, nigga, uh, I kind of broke of a shit. fucking pool stick over a nigga's neck in the yeah. pool hall, and like, yeah, you know, like, just didn't give a fuck. right. And Willie yeah. Nelson's hard, and like, you know, this. But then when I, the more I like hear some other stuff, sometimes I hear some shit where I'm like. I was, I was kind of hard. Yeah. The writing was kind of crazy yeah, on like that. Yeah, like how you flipped it at the Yeah, yeah like the right, the patterns and yeah. shit. It's like, I'm like, okay. Yeah. There's some shit in here. Like, yeah. there's some good material in every genre of music. Yeah. It, I think it's just on a different frequency. That right. doesn't resonate with majority of the people of a certain culture. You right. Know what I mean? Like, I mean, I thought that shit was the biggest music now, but apparently I heard that hip hop is like, man, don't, it's I, number one now. I've always thought it was hip hop. I feel like they they oh, lied to right. us. You know what I mean? Like they might have for sure, but like hip hop probably been dominated more than they they know. But like, yeah. it's it's pretty crazy. Like yeah. you almost have to be on in a hip hop nigga's radar for you to really like be killing it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like an artist like Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. Like, I see what you're saying. Like, so niggas like, are talking about her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though they don't fuck with her music. Yeah. But because of the Kanye situation, yeah. she's a relevant person That's we know from true. that world. Very and true. she Kendrick did a song with her. And you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, all these, like, things, these small things. Yeah. So now, it's like, even though you may not fuck with her music, you kind of fuck with her. Because right. you know about her. You know, like... And it, it, it speaks volumes, too, because, like, say you go to the UK, right? I think the connection that UK people make with America is based off of hip hop. Right. You know what I mean? No, like I they're that. not they're not asking about what's the latest country song. They're asking right. about like, all right, what's usually the way they they hear about it is just through the basis of hip hop in some form right. or fashion. So I think at the end of the day, it's 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 the the lifeline of the the culture is the lifeline of America's culture. You right. Know what I mean, right. So like like you said, like for uh, Taylor Swift to be worldwide, it they, it kind of, she kind of needs that stamp of approval from hip hop in a way. You know what I mean? Right, right. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. That's yeah. a, that's a weird thing to say. You know yeah. because you know we may not not think that's true, but I think it is. Me like, too. Because yeah. I'm like, why do I hear so much about this shit? Yeah. Like, there's a reason why they, they she she goes and looks for a Kendrick feature. You know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. And there's a reason that Kendrick about to do that feature. Yeah, exactly. He's like, I'm about to fucking kill this yeah, shit. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, man. So, shit, how do we even get here? I know we were talking about <laughs> I, 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 I know we talked about Post Malone. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, but, um, oh, so, like, yeah. So, like, how did you come to creating that vibe in your in your performances then you know like how um, did that how did that start out man pretty much right off top by really? like yeah like like i will go to shows and i have my setup my ambiance or whatever that i yeah. brought different things yeah that was one of the things that was there yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying and i go in and out of that yeah you know what i'm saying and then people would just like Oh shit! This nigga's crazy. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and that's just and that's just what it was. Yeah. And I, it was like, all right, so cool. So you just from the jump, you're like, this is this is that this is got how I'm dude. Going. I got that fucking uh, mask in high school. Really? I got that mask in high school. Uh-huh. At um, it's like you know seventy bucks. Yeah. You know, like, which is a lot to you know in high school. In high school, yeah, you gotta you, save you up. You got a job back then? Nah, hell, nah. So you, Are you actually not at the time I got that, but I did get a job later in high school. So basically, you were saving up much money. Right, right, right. <laughs> but uh, okay, so I just had that shit. Yeah. I get this shit. I, you know, I actually appreciated the um the craftsmanship of it. Oh, yeah, it's you very know? complex. It's, because like, I'm, you just want to stare at it. Because right. I'm I'm into like, you know, certain things I can see, like if it has a connection with me, yeah. that, wow, this is something about this thing here yeah. that I, that is connected to me. Yeah, yeah. Right? Uh-huh. So I get this thing, I never used it for anything. 
Yeah. Like, I, I just had it in my room, sitting up on something. Yeah. People come over, they see that. Yo, that's wild. That's wild, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People, people know it came on my room. Like, you know, in high school, I always had a bunch of crazy shit everywhere on the wall, yeah. in the room. Like, yeah. I find some shit, make some shit out of something. Uh -huh. I will be, like, editing videos on two VCRs in my room. Yeah. And, like, with the windows all blacked out yeah. and, like, a weird-ass light and, like... You know, and you're just using everything in your environment. That's that that's where the whole thing comes yeah. from. Koreatown Odyssey is not because yeah. I'm a nigga born and raised in Koreatown, which is that's you know something that's that factual. people don't really talk about yeah. if they did grow up there, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, I just because anybody that would come see me over there, I was always doing some shit like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? So is that where the oddity part came in, or right? That's all yeah. that all that thing attached. So being like, being in the 80s, yeah. late 80s, yeah. being there to the time I am now yeah. makes me that. Yeah. Like, it's not a name, it's an earned life experience. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because no matter where I go, it's on you. Koreatown yeah. Odyssey, if I go and live in fucking New Zealand yeah. and never come back here, yeah. it's like, yo, that's, that's K Town over there. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. You it's like, I'm. It's so a part of you. Like, I'm bringing it DNA. with me. Yeah. I'm bringing yeah. the whole city with me yeah. and all my experiences of going around the whole city. Yeah, that's cool. Like going, you know, going over here to LeVert. My mom got the fucking set up booth with the hip hop jewelry and yeah. the black Bart Simpson shirts <laughs> and the whole nine and shit. And then, okay, Man. now we shooting over here to fucking yeah. East LA. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And now we going back. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the whole, so that name is like something that I, I'll never forget yeah. like all the stuff that I experienced right. and who yeah, you got so much history I am going along this you know what yeah, I mean like yeah. bro it's crazy yeah that is crazy so so you got the you got the mask in in high school and then you kind of uh, so did your first performance you put it on or, or, or not well, it was there. And it was there. It was yeah. there, and I definitely um, went in and out of it. It wasn't yeah, like, yo, know. like, yo, this is what you have to do. And then the thing is, I do the show, yeah. and I tell you what I have to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I set that tone in the first place. Yeah. And so from the, it, it was a headdress from the drum. It, it was like right, right. Yeah, it was. You were. It was a supplement to the the aura you were letting out I mean that's why it's a trip when people like see me in the store yeah. like they's like, they're like oh shit oh yo I'll be talking to somebody for a little bit yeah. and then you know they might see me again and be like oh I didn't know that was you that was you yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. like there's people that talk to me online yeah that talk to me in public didn't know who I was right you know um but they like online they're like they it's almost like they know me yeah and then i've talked to that same person they didn't know it was me yeah and they totally um not all the people but yeah. some people like you know acted like they didn't know me yeah you know what i'm saying yeah it's and so and then later on it's like oh man i didn't even know that was you man yeah, it's like yeah. i was like i ain't really tripping i'm not really trying to that's not really even the main thing yeah. to know. Right, right. You know, the main thing is for you to, uh, I mean, which probably most people, when you start doing stuff, like uh -huh. when we was making shit on tape in yeah. high school and uh -huh. yada yada, uh -huh. is to make some dope shit. Right. For niggas to know that at the end of the day, this nigga's dope. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Respect, that's the, that's, 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 that's the all respect. it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta, that, as long as as long as you put that before my name before you talk your shit, yeah. you're like, man, that nigga Dominique is dope, but yeah. yada yada. Then you can talk your shit about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then you can go in. Uh, yeah. As long as you yeah. know, nigga, yeah, I, I'm, I'm out here trying to put out quality products of interest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, and you're still doing that, right? It, right. Like, that's, that's the same mindset. That's all it is. Yeah. That yeah. all. That's all the point. Yeah. When creating is I want to put something out there that you can know about me. Yeah. I want to tell you um, 
from my point of view how I feel about certain things yeah. you know with through humor through right. something that's like not so humorous yeah. then putting it through my filter yeah. to bring it to you maybe in a way you didn't even really look at it like that yeah. until you know it was given to you in this format right. you know what I mean that's yeah. the main goal of all the shit yeah. and it, if someone connects with it then they then they get what I was doing. You know, some things it might just go past people. Go past they might have to come back, yeah. and that's fine because um, you're not here to absorb everything. Right. You can't absorb everything. Yeah. With so much shit coming out nowadays, what the fuck? Yeah. You just gotta take your time and get to the things when you can. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So so then, I'm I'm super interested because you you're in a comedy. Mm -hmm. Right. Of course. Yeah. yeah. How do you how do you get it? Well, have you always been into comedy? Like how how are you doing sets at the the, the Laugh Factory at sixteen years old? You know. Oh well. Okay. Or doing like you know, hosting. You know. Well, there was this thing like they had on. Uh, what well, I think they still have the program going, but there was a thing at the Laugh Factory where they had like a comedy camp right yeah yeah that's true. you know my mom always thought i was like you know a funny nigga you know i just like say some shit to my mom and my mom's super stupid as fuck too yeah. you know what i mean like roasting yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, the whole yeah. nine go in. you know what i'm saying because she's a hip-hop mom yeah you know what i'm saying yeah that's how i was raised the yeah. first music i'm listening to is hip-hop tapes right you know what i mean Man, that's crazy so She's got jokes, you know. Yeah. My granny has jokes. Yeah. She's like the funniest one. So you, it was like survival of the fittest at that point. You know what I'm saying? It's just whether or not, quick. even if I like fucking did anything with it. Yeah. You know, I'll just be a nigga who just is funny off snapping or, you yeah, know, like yeah. just saying some wild shit. Yeah. So you know, my mom saw this thing on TV. It was like comedy camp for you know kids you know is that the Latin. same one tiffany haddish went to no same one she Dang. was matter of fact that, that's crazy the one that she is on was the one i think my mom saw on tv oh wow so it was like a commercial on the news or some shit right yeah yeah so anyways it was in the summer you yeah. go up there it's a bunch of kids right yeah. you know what i'm saying i'm about 15 um you go there and you you know kind of like audition like yeah. you get on the stage actually there's a bunch of people there and shit yeah. and the kids go up there and they say whatever the fuck they think is they funny right <laughs> and who, then who's they, actually funny at 15 years old like i mean everybody's everybody, funny like what is the like, content though like, like at in junior high this, oh no you're in high school at 15. yeah i'm in high school the yeah. thing is now see I did talent shows in junior high, like dressing yeah. up as characters yeah. and being mad, like goofy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and I had done like, maybe like stand up once before like, yeah. when I was 14. Yeah. Like, and I could do like, uh, like wild impressions and shit oh, okay. when so I was had, a kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, what, you remember your first joke? That you like, you, did you ever write jokes or you just- Nah, you know like, what? You know what I do? Yeah. I'll write, ideas to concepts got you you know what i'm saying like freestyle it up on right it. right and then maybe i might have like this this part sounds funny to me yeah this might be funny yeah. and then like you know little did you know those are punch lines and stuff like, right right yeah. right and then like you know obviously you do like you kind of like jay-z a few of them yeah you know what i'm saying because you just like might think of something on this yeah on the, you kind of getting a feel for the crowd too. right exactly exactly so yeah. So, okay, I go do this, right? They pick only a few kids out of it. Now, I'm one of the kids, I get picked, right? I go to this thing, and it's 10 weeks. Every week, um, like, they have a celebrity, like, um, instructor or mentor uh -huh. or a person who just talks. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, like Bob Saget, yeah. Jamie Foxx, uh -huh. fucking, you know, Man, Paul crazy. Mooney. Yeah. Like, Paul like Mooney, man. yeah, like, I have a, I have a tape. Where it's like Jamie Foxx, Paul Mooney, Bob Saget, um, Mitch Mullaney, fucking Chris Tucker, yeah. all of them talking about yo, this nigga Dominique is yeah, this nigga. <laughs> That's nigga. wild. Nigga, uh, Jamie Foxx was wanted to buy a joke from me when I was. That's crazy, man. You know what I mean? Like That's shit, crazy. like concepts. You know? Yeah, yeah. So then, like, there was this dude who was in that class before. His name is Kenny Johnson. 
he was probably two years older than me. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was already working at the Laugh Factory. Yeah. He's somebody they pulled out to work there at night, like gotcha. with the you know adult crowds. Yeah, yeah. So then I got pulled from the comedy camp. Yeah. They're like, yo, yo, you should just come perform at night. Just start getting your. So me and the out. homie yeah. at the time are the two youngest people to ever be working at the Laugh Factory yeah. on a regular basis. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're we're working, you know, they have they would have an eight, ten, twelve show. We would like, you know, sometimes he would MC those shows. Yeah. Then I'll switch our MC one. Yeah. Then I'll do a set, you know, the next week. But and this is the weekend shows, the Friday, yeah. Saturday, Sunday, you know, and then like sometimes when I st- and then especially when I got out of school when I would like host like a couple times a week, yeah, you know what I'm saying, like through the week, like the slow days, yeah, Monday, yeah. Tuesday, sometimes Friday, you know, yeah, and that's basically how that shit happened. Just yeah. basically, they were like, "Yo, this nigga is like, you know, could perform for adults." Yeah, and yeah. I go there, they test me out one night, you know, smash. They're yeah. like, "Okay, just kill." That's what's up. All right, yeah. this nigga could, you know, and then I would just come there and work. Yeah, what was your content? Uh, I mean, like, like sh- all kind of like shit talking and yeah, talking yeah. about like niggas in horror movies. Got and, you. Cause uh, I, I imagine like being that. Cause thing is with like comedy, it's it's very strange because it's like you get better as you get older. You know, like, right now, you know, cause you got those experiences. Right. But you seem like a pretty precocious dude, so it's like. You had a lot of experiences, even at 15. Oh, yeah. You know? Like, hella shit had already happened to me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, even, like, now, like, okay. Now, the last time I probably did, like, a, um, you know, maybe, like, a set that was, like, 22 and a half hour. Yeah. Was probably, like, a long time ago. Yeah. Maybe, like, 27, 26 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, because it's, like... At a certain point, you know, when they're trying to make you do certain things. Yeah. And my thing was always like, I just hate doing stuff I thought was like, I wasn't feeling. Yeah. yeah. And that if I wasn't feeling it, yeah, I it's couldn't not, it's really. Gonna, it's going to come out that yeah, way. Yeah, I couldn't it. really. Yeah, I'll be like, you know, the owner of the Laugh Factory would start telling me like, yo, I want you to do more shit like this nah. and I will be like nah nigga well That's you know I'm gonna do good. this or like yeah. yo you know and it's you know you should come up here uh, wearing a collar shirt next time or goes. next time yeah. you come up there then we're not putting you up I come up there and you know it's just my regular gear one yeah. time yeah. they wouldn't let me host yeah. He said, until you go home and change. Nah, bro, that's like, crazy. It's like, oh, I didn't really, really get yeah. into this yeah. to do it what you want me to do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy. So then I go off, I start doing comedy other places. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, you know, after a while, it's kind of like, you know, I don't really have nothing to say in this time. Yeah. You okay. know? And then it's like, all right, now it's like, like, like a, couple years and like and around this time it's kind of like man there's something new i need to do yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, there's yeah. a vibe that's out there yeah, so yeah. and i always like would have ideas yeah. and go like test jokes at open mic just yeah like, oh, just yeah, to see what's up yeah that's just kind of funny yeah, okay yeah. cool you know yeah, what i mean yeah. like to always like kind of like you want to keep the muscle right going. Just, yeah it's a, it's a muscle at the right. end of the day so at this time at the same time yeah. i'm doing um, tapes with a homie, right? Yeah. I have a homie in high school. He gets like a, a MPC in high school. His yeah. dad gets someone like they get it from Craigslist. Some nigga comes to the house, a big case, yeah. you know, two thousand, yeah. you know, and we doing tapes. Well, basically, he would like, well, after school, he'll go to his crib. Uh-huh. I go to my crib. Uh-huh. He would. Um, Call me up, yeah. play a beat, and I had this little karaoke machine thing, uh-huh. right? Uh huh. That I had a mic, and I would put the mic to the earpiece of the phone. That's crazy. And See? rap through the mouthpiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then he would play the beat through there, and then I'd be rapping, and then I'd record it. Yeah. So we did like, 
like mad tapes like this that. This is like so awesome. Like this is how they get like people to spit from prison. <laughs> right. Exactly. You know, that's what what, you know? Yeah. And it's like and we, you know we're doing it because like that's all we really know how to yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. But um, so it's like I'm doing this simultaneously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then like my boy gets a fucking uh, you know, at some point later on we out of school or maybe I'm like 19, 20. Yeah. He has his own studio, like right. rents a little like room in a place that has a bunch of studios. So now we can record like there, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's crazy, like all this stuff is simultaneous, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and so eventually, like in my life personally, they was merged. Yeah, yeah, but, that's what it sounds like. You know, like what I'm saying? when you were writing the joke, you was also writing bars. Right. If I thought of something yeah. that was funny, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. sometimes. A bar, some bars might come out that's funny yeah. just because yeah. of the way I delivered it right. and the, you know whatever the metaphor or some yeah. shit was you know what I mean who's, who's like the most influential comedian in your life man that's a good question man like if if I would have to say that I would definitely say um Man, definitely Eddie Murphy. Eddie, yeah. of course Eddie Murphy, because yeah. like, yeah, now I'm with you on that. Like the thing is, I remember I watched Delirious, right? Yeah, on VHS. I rented That's it from Hollywood suit? Video. Purple suit or red suit? That's the red suit. Got you. Got you. And I remember it was like in the summertime, and it was like because I remember because it got dark like early, yeah. like five or uh, sorry wintertime because it got dark early. Yeah, and I put on the nobody was home. I put on the tape, yeah. right? I'm watching it in the in the sun is setting. I don't got no lights on in the house. It yeah. was dark, yeah. and I remember like watching it and like laughing so much yeah. <laughs> that I stopped the tape. Yeah. That I like stopped it and I sat down and I was just like, "Yo, this shit this is, is fucking funny." funny. Yeah, I yeah. was like, "Yo." This yeah. nigga's a fucking fool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then popping the tape back on. Like yeah. tears. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like, like Eddie, he was like the perfect mix of like physical. Then he had like the impressions. And then he's actually saying something about his life. Right. Too. And just yeah, like out there just package. killing it. Bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then obviously, you know, there's like a. Um, like Richard Pryor, obviously. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. you know, you're watching that when you're young, you're like, damn, this shit is really like. Did you get the jokes back then? Like, were you. Like, I mean, I, the relationship jokes, I probably yeah, didn't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, just some stuff was just funny. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether you understood or not. Yeah. Like, like, you knew, like, the way he even said things was like, he, the way he said that was funny as hell. Right. <laughs> you know, and also, too, yeah. I'm growing up, um, which a lot of people may, you may have like a. Um, an older person or yeah. older people in your life that's just super candid. Yeah. And they're always talking shit. Yeah. Like yeah. my grandmother. There's no filter type. You shit. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she, she never was like a censored person. Right. Like need she talked. She's the. I talked to her the other day. She's the same exact way she was when I was a kid. That's talking cool. shit like, That's man, cool. these motherfuckers. They don't even know what the fuck they talking man. about. Like, shit. Don't put me on Facebook because, <laughs> shit. If I, I, I don't want people looking at me. Yeah. If I want to look at somebody, I go see that motherfucker in person. Yeah. Just, just all th like. There's no thought. Nah, she's off the chain, man. Like, like tongue. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like That's if you people. growing up like that, like. The stuff like the Richard Pryors and the, oh, yeah. the Red Fox. It's real and, familiar. Right, yeah. you know what I mean? And obviously, of course, Chappelle, fucking, um, um, you know, even like George Carlin. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, those, it's, uh, yeah, it's crazy because it's like. Yo, even down to like people that wasn't even like super blown up I, oh, Dick Gregory of course you know oh, what I mean yeah, like yeah. you listen to records where I am it's like half of the record nobody's laughing right you know they laugh in between because they he got their attention yeah he's telling he's telling like real life stories right and you laughing because it it came natural yeah it wasn't like he was setting you up for no jokes nah yeah you it's, know what I mean it's a lecture 
Dick Gregory, but it's like a lecture that you enjoy. You know what I mean? Like right. you just sit right. there and listen to history. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You see, that's what the shit that so any that's the next form of what I'm doing. Like, okay, that's how it merged obviously with music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But now on stage as like you know, it's like telling jokes, I don't really want to tell jokes. Yeah. It's like I'm talking to you about shit that's like isn't that wild yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, and that's know, making yeah. you like like fuck it if if no one's laughing i don't give a fuck you yeah. know what i'm saying what the yeah. fuck does that even really You're mean still listening right now you know what i'm saying like uh, yo yeah. and you can see when people do that yeah. and like they when you got people listening to you yeah they're gonna react naturally when that moment comes just like how when you're talking to a friend uh -huh. and you say something that makes them laugh yeah, yeah, yeah you didn't plan to do that right it was just that like because they, thought they were it was, listening to they you. were listening yeah, right you know yeah, so yeah. they thought it was funny that how you expressed yourself in yeah. that moment you know yeah, yeah that's that's wild so that's so yeah i can see how you merge it now man. like it's um yeah because you know when i listen to like it's very true when I listen to you know even your five chuckles stuff you know right right like even when you like in the show when you say like what's the, the five fingers say to the fa I right. can hear like right. the influences of you know the comedy and, and hip hop merging right. together and I think that's what Dave even did so well too. oh yeah yeah you know like definitely. he was having a block party it's like nobody does it right anymore. right no exactly because yeah. like the obviously like the five chuckles that's like a you know, I tell G, it's like it's a black exploitation movie. Yeah, it's, it's, those yeah. are black exploitation yeah, movies yeah. called Five Chuckles, and yeah. me and him having adventures and like, you know, a lot of the shit is the shit that me and him were talking about yeah. that might end up in a rhyme yeah. or some shit we was looking at, yeah. or you know, like a thought from a idea that somebody said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we're like vibing with that in our world, in the worlds that we living in. You know? Yeah. And that's what the humor comes in, you know. It's like, yeah, of course it's humorous, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's why it's five chuckles. Though. Yeah, that's G. He's like, yo, one day he's like, yo, let's do five chuckles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Literally like that. He's like, he had a few joints already. Like, yeah. and I was like, let's go. Right, let's get it. Yeah. Let's go. We already built. We already did other shit together. It was like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's crazy. So then. So what's next for you then? Like, where where do you see, where where's your head at head at now? Right now, um, okay. Obviously, I'm gonna put out you know more music and shit. Yeah. Another solo joint probably next year. Uh huh. Um. And definitely, uh, like a a movie. Right. Yeah, cause. It's, you're in the film too right right, right. but see yeah. and that's that and I like a movie that's kind of like you know I almost I don't really want to say it yeah. cause you know keep it on the reps right you know what I'm saying yeah. I like you know we'll talk about it yeah. but you know what I mean but like something what I'm saying is it's something I haven't seen mm. in, in a movie and done a certain way right. for you know a certain point of view on uh, a realm that people ain't really like putting out there. <laughs> I, I love how you took over. <laughs> like you just beat her. Right. Like, if your voice is gonna definitely come through. Right, right, right. That's right. A, I think that's the most important thing. It's just like people need to hear from you, man, because you have such a a rich amount of like experience and knowledge that I think it's it's kind of missing you know from the culture that we're in at least you know man I get the the thing when I think about that I shout out all my OGs yeah. and you know all the homies that are deep and layers of knowledge on yeah. topics that I'm interested in yeah. but they may have like an oceans yeah. you know body of information on yeah. that I maybe got like a few a lakes little, on a little nugget yeah you know, you know what yeah. I'm saying I might got my little lake popping and you know people come swimming over there yeah. but the homies like come to the beach of knowledge you yeah. know like oh word yeah. they'll give me some more water I could take back to my lake and yeah. make it and blow up you know yeah. so like that's that's the key and to be honest even younger homies 
homies that are younger than me that, right? that put me on shit that I'm like, oh, that's what's up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, and then vice versa. You know what I mean? Like, so, I mean, exchanging the info to especially people you know like gems, yeah. whether you're the gem giver or receiver, yeah. is probably the, the, the best thing because yeah. that's all there's going to be anyway. Yeah, it's it, an exchange of knowledge. Yeah, eventually we're all going to like, all right, you're going to be a rap, I'm going to be a rap. Yeah. Somebody coming up after you, they're going to need to get this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then they're going to be a rap and so on and so on yeah. and so on. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's just so crazy because it's like, I mean, you think about it, it help you like just human, just like, you know, transcend through generations. It's like there's certain, certain things. It's just interesting how culture is preserved. You know? Right, right, right. You know, you yeah. Know, like, how how did hip hop make it this long when people were like, nah, this shit ain't gonna last, man. Right. You know, it's just a little phase. That's but, why you can never be like, nah, this shit ain't gonna happen. You yeah. just never know. Yeah. If it was up to me, nigga, we would have never went to space. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't fucking doing that. Nah. Exactly. Like, I was watching a video yeah. of like some niggas going to space, like the fur the challenger, like, like that's what, the one that blew up. I don't I don't I can't even think of like the, the notion of like why I would even want to go there. Like who nah, wants to go to space? Like he's a different type of person that is like it's man, like, you know, it's space like, though. You know, like it's like Dick Gregory said. He was like the civil rights movement was starting, and white people were going to the moon, yeah. trying to figure out how to get away from <laughs> yeah, us niggas. Exactly. <laughs> you yeah. know, like yeah. No, it was funny. I was saying the other day, I was like, you know, white people uh, in America, especially well, Americans. They're terrible at uh, genocide. Right. Right. <laughs> because, like, you think about it, like, you go to, like, overseas. Like, you know, because America has always seemed like that, that teenager, right? Right, right. To, like, Europe and stuff. Right. And they over there, they had that shit down pat, right? Like, they had, like, the Holocaust. They had a Holocaust before the Holocaust and shit. That's and crazy. they were just killing people off. Like, they had it down to a science. Damn. And then you get here, they get here to to America. You you got the pilgrims that come over and try to commit like a whole genocide with Thanksgiving and shit. Right? Yeah, yeah. And fail at it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, then they try to do it again with slavery and like just trying to kill all black people. Right, 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 right. And then they failed at that. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you yeah. gotta call a spade a spade and say, you know, you know, genocide is not their thing. Right, but they are. They are. I need to try harder. Yeah. I need to try to kill niggas a little bit. You know what they're really good at is, is su suppression. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know how to you know, like dominate like the area that they're in, in a way. Which is crazy. I know yeah. people. I know people are really tripping about gentrification, which yeah. is some wild shit. Yeah. Because like, I know in like. 10 years in LA yeah. it's gonna be different it's you know what I mean a like a whole different environment that's why it's like man on a real like to ball out and buy property is probably the dream yeah you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. because then you're like alright at least no nigga could tell me to to do move. yeah to move yeah. or to do nothing with this property yeah. that I don't wanna do right because I own it you yeah. know what I mean? Like real estate is a is a huge and the thing is it's like it makes so much money in a safe way. You know what I mean? Like crazy. It's the only it's the only commodity that that increases in, in in value over time. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very strange. But but then like you think about it is like I mean black people were already late to that game. You know what I mean? Right, because we just weren't in, put in position to be able to do it. So right. now we're just getting into the the whole thing. Everything expensive, fuck already. You know what I mean? Man, I wish there was like I wish the Migos would make a hit song called "Buy Yourself a House." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real, like that because that's what, <laughs> that's what Buy that's what needed, house. needed. You know what I mean? Like that's what niggas gotta do. It's Buy some property, property and shit. You yeah. know, it's property. How you feeling? Good, man. I gotta take a piss. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You wanna? You wanna? Uh... Oh yeah. How do you close? How do you close this thing out? Wait. How? First of all, 
how's you what made you want to do this idea like this um just you know first of all before i even get to that thought i didn't think you was gonna do this shit bro i was like this like when you when you say you was down i was like whoa i didn't I didn't expect it to go this far. Oh, okay, word, yeah. But um, but so thank you for that. Oh, all good, man. It's all good. Um, but it's really just to connect with people because I, I I suck at doing that in uh-huh. person. Uh huh. Just because of a, pl- a plethora of reasons, I I kind of have like social anxiety, so like I either say too much or too little. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's just like then I just. Well, I saw you had the homies, um, uh, Ali and uh, Liv. Yeah, there, so. yeah, they they were as good. So that, I mean, I saw that. I was like, all right, man. Yeah, man, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna see yeah, what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the, those those are my people. Right? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah, and then I just wanted to um, a factor of it is just making people see you as a human being. You right, right. No, yeah, no, yeah. And, and as a person, instead of like, oh, that's the Korean town oddity. Right, that's a rapper. Or right, 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 right. It's like, yo, I'm a nigga. I'm about to, you know, eat some fucking uh, yeah. waffles or yeah, something too. Yeah, nigga. Like, I'll be eating waffles. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's not like. Like at the end of the day, we're all humans, and like I think that is captured through long form conversations. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, no doubt. Yeah. So I mean that's kind of like the you know the, the iceberg or the, the you know tip of it. See what's gonna be crazy is like when this shit blow up. You know what I'm saying? And you oh, have a nigga like The Rock laying on the floor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Imagine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like Dwayne Johnson. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got fucking uh, Gabriel Union. On oh the, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. That's you know that's, that's crazy. I'm kind of like you know nah, looking they, forward to seeing it like. Uh, go somewhere where somebody like I couldn't imagine them like doing that you know yeah, like yeah. I think we I think I just wanted to create a space where people felt like comfortable just, just talking that shit right? right 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 you know what I mean yeah 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 just getting it off nah you yeah know? nah good shit bro yeah yeah good talking to you you too so last last thing I like asking is like what is something the world doesn't know about you but shit what does anything? Man, I don't really know. I mean, I can't really answer that really. Because I'm thinking like, what do they know that they, what don't they know that they should? I mean, you're always going to find out something new. Something new. You know what I'm saying? That'd be yeah. like, I'd have to like, really like, you know, like, do telepathy with people and like <laughs> to give them my it. whole like yeah, from yeah. birth to you gotta, now you gotta sit you, you gotta find out there's what no they way don't they know can, first yeah there's, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what they don't know like yeah, I might say something and think they don't know that and they yeah. already do know that cause I don't remember I told them that right. you know what I mean but I don't know you could you could learn a lot from listening to my music though for sure yeah, yeah. like and the, the the raps and the instrumentals yeah. you know because um I put pieces of myself into everything. That's why a, a rap is not a rap to me. It's yeah. not just a rap. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, that's why it's like, you know, if you do a verse and, you know, you don't hear that verse for like three, four years, yeah, yeah. you know, you know, I'm that, that gets to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't just do raps just to, just cause like, you know, for, just to do it like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean I don't need to yeah. you know so they all got pieces of me in it so exactly. you There's listen to my shit you will learn hella shit you, you, you got a little blood in there right oh yeah that. yeah cause what, what what else is the point of it yeah. you know what I mean if it's not for me you, then, yeah it's not then it's not genuine it's, it's a, you know they time capsules man yeah. the things that you create yeah. you know yeah. what I mean it's just what we were talking about so, yeah uh, but there is alright well um Here's something. What does the inside of that mess smell like after all these years, dog? Man, you know. <laughs> I know you be sweating on stage too, like fuck, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. And the thing, you know, what's funny. Like what's that don't even affect me at all because of the transcendence. You're not even of there. the 
performance of yeah. the like what I'm trying to give to y'all before I'm done. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Energy wise and thought wise, you yeah. know. You're not even. You don't even. You're not hungry. You're not smelling anything. Nah, like you're if just, it's like a hundred degrees you know, outside, it. it's like I'm not really affected. That's you know? what happened. You know, they say that's what happens when you have adrenaline running running through you. It's just mm. like, Nah, that makes sense. Yeah, like you can't, you're not hungry. You know, like when you're about to fight somebody, you're like, damn, I could use a sandwich. Right, nobody <laughs> says that. Yo. I'm gonna kick your ass, man. Yeah, like, after I eat one of these uh, popcorn yeah. uh, <laughs> chicken wings or some shit. Like. No, yeah, like it, it's, and it, it's also like the same thing. Like, I mean, I, I don't really do psychedelics like that, but right. like, like, I just remember like being on YouTube searching like, uh, like LSD interviews and stuff, especially yeah. from like oh, I forgot, like that Project MK Ultra yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and it's like when you're in that state, like when you're you know you're on acid, like you don't like food is trivial. Like like the the the, the senses that we go through every day are just they're just trivial. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. So I bet you like when you're up on stage, it's almost like you it's like a high state of mind. Just Straight like, up, you know. Yeah, no, nah, that's like, real. You know, you're not. You've been wearing the same mask for how many years? But like, you know, it's not. It's not even affecting you. You know. Right. Nah. It's because it's not really. It's not really that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. because there's there's times that people see me perform with no headdress yeah you know what i'm saying oh yeah yeah. and I mean, it's I like that too. Yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, and that's yeah. kind of like it's like it's probably a different vibe it's yeah. probably random to people yeah, but it's yeah. like that same transcendence yeah. because of the like the uh energy connection yeah you know what i'm saying yeah yeah i feel you yeah i feel you and then all right so then what's the uh I'm trying to think of some. Like somebody's playing the piano real good in there. Killing it. I think that's, that's, like that's crazy. That's Maki. Okay. Yeah. I gotta, you know, give her her props after this. Right, right. She's she's like doing the score for the whole, the whole episode. It's crazy. She's doing a score for this. No, I'm just playing. You this should, episode. yo, <laughs> yo, you should fucking just yeah. like. You know, record that shit, yeah. and you can lay this shit yeah, over the top, yeah, or, you know what I'm saying? And just I mean, they'll hear. I mean, I don't know if they. I'm pretty sure people can hear. Oh, right? your sound might pick that up. Huh? Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. She might. This might be her her big break. You know what I mean? You know. But yeah, let's 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 get out of here, dog. Let. Word. I know you need to use the facilities. Word. But uh, yeah, thanks Peace, again man. for coming, man. Peace, man. Uh, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, dog. It was my pleasure. Feel good? Yeah, I was good. Yeah.